There we are. There it is. All right, ready? Yep. Pop this back We're on. live. It just said so. All right, we've made it. Yeah, I think we've made it. But you never know. Any of this. I've got a nap. So it looks like we're done. We're on. <laughs> Excellent. That's exciting. There's a nap. That's how that always starts, right? Make sure that everything's turned off and we're not jerks on the thing yes yes oh good uh, uh, homesick today i have sudzers in the hospital and sudzers homesick and sick sick and this is crazy can you guys hear us are we live are we here <laughs> they're here they are <laughs> yes and uh Oh, bought a new soap mold. That's cool. There's confirmation. Someone can see us. Yes. What are you doing on? Horton's Art? Aren't supposed to be celebrating a birthday? <laughs> also, yeah. Hey, that. Today is uh, my, my brother's birthday. Mr. Mr. Webman. Webman. So, wish him happy birthday in the what comments. What did we decide yesterday? Mm, tech man. Tech man. Yeah. Except he's not here to do tech. Mega man. Mega man. Yes. We didn't decide that yesterday, but... Good. I'm glad that we're live. Now, is the sound okay for everyone? Sounds good. Look, we're all good. Sounds good. Okay, perfect. Good. <laughs> we're free to continue. We are free to continue. <laughs> yes. We are here for a very weird live. So, that's a... Uh, yeah, it snuck up on me today. Like, doing it at noon instead of doing it at three like we have been doing, it was... It's like, it's like you lost three hours. Yeah, we looked at the clock and we're like, oh, God, we got to go do the thing. Yeah, it did sneak up. Um, we just barely, we kick it off late because we just barely got everything set up to go. Yeah, so. we did. We did that. I got to do my thing thing. You do? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's, let's do the thing. You do it. How does it go? <laughs> You've forgotten. Ooh, it's a day. It is. Ready? Okay, focus, focus. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You're at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 84. Sounds good. Of 365 days of soap, and we are doing it live. And we are doing it live with uh, some tea spilling and some tea drinking, and the tea is literally being spilt as we speak, because with these Plum Deluxe teas, I decided to do a lemonade tea thing, and the carafe is leaking. And so it's already spilled. There's been lots of spilling tea today. Yes. It's very, very funny. And so, yes, happy birthday, Mr. Webman, for <laughs> sure. And so, yeah, we are here doing it live today for a couple of reasons. A, we're going to try all these awesome Plum Deluxe teas. So that's fun. But two, we're going to give away a whole bunch of uh, gift boxes to show my appreciation for... All of you amazing humans out there that like to see me through the box and uh, hit 10,000 subs for me, us, you, I was off we're all here together. It's cool. Yeah, it is off camera. It's right there. That's it's kind right. of a bummer. Yeah. It's a clock radio for the latest. Yeah, we, we hung the clock radio. So there's, uh, there's that. And it now counts the things and now it's at 10.3 which is wild <laughs> and uh yeah so we are definitely doing the tea drinking today and we're starting out with a, a hot tea which i'm actually really interested in because my throat really hurts and so <laughs> it's a day it's just such a day but this particular one from plum deluxe the one that i decided to do hot was i'm not sure I don't know that you've actually seen any of these, though. Uh, no, I've only seen them and they're already in the bag. Yeah, so I did that. I actually bagged teas. Do you guys have... <clears throat> sorry. Do you guys have a better way to, like, bag your fancy teas? Because I found the process of just putting the tea into little bags pretty tedious and i spilled a lot of it and it was not <laughs> like i said tea has been being spilled yeah for the last couple of days there's so much tea being spilled maybe but... it's the tiny funnel little tea funnel 
But they're so they're so big. Some of these particles are so big that I don't know that they would go through like a little funnel, right? Like Maybe a big funnel. <laughs> see how big those pieces are? I don't know that a tea funnel would really work. Yeah. That would be crazy. I don't know. Uh Chastity, is Georgia coming? Yeah, the soap apprentice is not here today. That's uh I find it very funny that all week long I'm plugging the soap apprentice being here to teach me about tea and she's not here. She's out living her best life somewhere and you know having fun doing that. And we're in the pontoon, so we get Mr. Soap and Clay to help us with the tea thing today. Oh, I, just, I just happen to be around and I like tea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so no soap apprentice, but yeah, I, I pulled Mr. Soap and Clay from his work. Speaking of soap apprentice though, we have a we have an announcement. That's pretty cool. You do, yeah. Yeah. Two point Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a weird week for Soap Prentices. It has been a strange week. Yeah, it's, 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 I saw yeah. one of the old Soap Prentices mm -hmm. like three times this week, which is weird because she's been in Hawaii forever, and then I just see her all the time. She's in the shop. She just couldn't stay away when she came back to the States. Yeah, and we have a new Soap Prentice, and I'm very excited for that because I have not trained a new Soap Prentice in... A minute so it's gonna be cool I think it's gonna really change content a whole lot when there's brand new fresh eyes on things and therefore she's going to be asking brand new fresh questions <laughs> and so it will be fun for the back to basics part of all of it she will probably trigger in my brain something that is probably pretty important for new soap makers so that's gonna be awesome yeah. I'm looking forward to that a lot she probably uh, remind you of things that the audience would probably also like you to cover. Yes, exactly. That's <clears throat> that's what I was thinking. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Christy says she has a little ceramic teapot that she puts the loose straight in and then the boiling water. Let it steep and pour. Most of the loose tea stays in the pot. Okay, that's a good idea. I like that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, you like these? These are big mugs. This is a... This is a it was a Mother's Day present. I wanted to find your... I tried to find your Dad I Love You 3000 mug. For this but i think the kids are actually using it to drink tea right now so. yeah uh, the addison gave it to me and then uses it all the time for herself well i do that with a bunch of mugs <laughs> that i give you because they're the really big size for yes, coffee yes. and so that's this is mine it's mine now yeah I, I typically see my mugs all out and about yeah and i've not used them don't drink it have you already drank it no yes no no i did you yeah, did, did. what do you think of it i think i took a sip from camera just when we started oh okay because it smells so good it does smell good right so yeah. this one is the buttery shortbread so this one is an herbal well, it's delicious and i it's very aromatic <laughs> for sure yeah no i like the smell of it a lot ukt is tea tea and as much as proper black tea you have with milk in it ask mr soap and clay what tea means in the uk yeah, I, uh, which mug do you need, Christy? Do you need the uh, congratulations, you're better than everyone else mug? <laughs> I got that one for him, too. That one's mine. I'm for sure. That. But, yeah, this one's actually really sweet. You wouldn't need to put any sugar or anything in that at all. No. That one's delightful. It could go with some milk, though. I like milk in all my teas. Do you? Okay. See, I don't really like milk in my teas. Looks like this is a honey bush tea with cocoa peel, blackberry leaves, flavor essences. Wow. There you are. Love and gratitude. There's love, love and gratitude. gratitude in the bag. Yeah. That's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah, I actually, the first time I read one of these when I was doing a voiceover for the, the tea soaps that we just did, I noticed the love and gratitude and I was like, oh, that's sweet. Because that, now that means there's a double dose of love and gratitude in the soap because I put mine in the soap. Oh. Excellent. Excellent. Funny. Romantic. Come on, that's funny. <laughs> oh, not allowed caffeine anymore. That is the worst. That is the worst for sure. But yeah, so I guess we should talk about like the super chat things and all the jazz. So if you guys have a question that you want us to answer like right away or whatever, and we're not catching it on the thing, you can totally send a super chat, do that thing. I think we have it turned on. I yeah, check that. I don't know. But it's uh, but yeah, you can send a super chat and we'll get to it that way for sure. And other than that, we're going to figure out how to do this whole um, giving away of these boxes. Because that's wild. We haven't really thought this through. Thing is, this week has been nuts, right? It's Yeah, it's been a long, hectic, crazy week. It's, there's been lots going on. There's been so much going on. And it's some of it's super exciting. I don't know if you guys can see back there. 
but we have a new project going on back there. This is brightening and whatnot. That we're really excited to tell you guys about, but we can't do it right now because we're not ready. But <laughs> there's some fun stuff going on back there. Just like the last live, we've been having a lot of sawdust for the last two days. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, what if one doesn't like tea or coffee? What's the third best option for caffeine? Mountain Dew. Ew. Absolutely. No, I don't think there's a better source of caffeine well, outside of coffee and tea. Yeah, but I... Yeah, I suppose you could do those energy drinks, right? That say they have like vitamin B12 and stuff, but they're really just sugar and caffeine. Oh, yeah, and those are so bad on your liver. Like the, they're um, not good for you. The Red Bulls. Every, you get a Red Bull. It yeah, you, don't do that. It gives you sugar high wings. Don't listen to him. It's a terrible <laughs> idea. Right, Mountain Dew, I think, is more healthy. Uh, no, both are bad, though. I drank way too much Mountain Dew growing up, so and just the thought of it just makes me cringe a whole lot. Yeah, I never really liked it, but lots of people went that route. Yeah, Chris, actually, that's always an interesting thing. I think that's one of the <laughs> issues of uh, you do it until you get caught for it, and then you don't do it anymore. And I think even then, it's a it's a letter that says don't do it, so... I don't know. It's all very interesting. I also have heard of like uh, stories where businesses are getting hit for customers reviewing their product and claiming that their product does something that it doesn't, which is wild. How do you control your reviews? <laughs> it's crazy. Awesome. Also, how do you prove there's not love in it or gratitude? Yeah. Red Bull is amazing. Everybody's big heart on the Red Bull right now. All right. <laughs> All right, that makes my heart like physically start beating really, really hard. Well, you got to cut it with vodka, then it's delicious. Oh, God. That's my favorite. That's a. I'll have Red Bull with vodka. College days. That's that's college out at the bar days. That's. I mean, if we had. I don't want to go back to that. If that's we had a Red terrible Bull idea. Here, I would put it with vodka right now, but we don't keep it around because, in general, we don't drink it. Yeah, Christy, seriously. When I saw what was in Mountain Dew 2, I'm like, oh, God, no. I'm, wrong. I'm all done here. And that was like mother's milk to everyone where I grew up. Everybody drank Mountain Dew. Uh, it was wild. So, And they probably all still do. And, yeah, probably. And, yeah, yeah it's because they can't do caffeine. They can't do coffee. Well, they can do caffeine. They just can't do coffee. Right. They can do caffeine if it's in Mountain Dew. Right. Make it make sense. fall into that rule? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to ask a Mormon because that's a whole different thing. Yeah, that's. Uh, I agree, Chris. It is reprehensible. That's not a fun thing at all. Um, but there have been cases wherein they've been fined and found liable for what their customers say. Not across the board. They've been just a couple rogue cases, but at the same time, it's enough to take pause and whatever. But then it makes you wonder how... Like Lush continues to do their stuff because they're very clever in their marketing, right? They they have like fresh handmade, right, in their in their marketing. But then all their customer reviews are always things like, Oh yeah, I love how natural all this is and not many Lush products are actually natural these days, whatever natural means. And so they let that ride based on the customer reviews, so Lush has a good reputation of being a natural company. Which is interesting. So if a small company is going to get hit for it, then I think the big one sh should too. Or maybe first. Dr. Pepper. Tea. Wine of the South. Yeah. It's Dr. Pepper. Oh, and Dr. Pepper. Yeah. My dad lived on that. Yeah. So his favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah. They put peanuts in the bottle. It was like, I don't know. He liked the extra salt. He's weird. Yeah. Yeah, we did a sun tea today too. So that's... We're going to be drinking some of that, too, as that's well. That's the one that's leaking, isn't it? Or no, it's the other no, one. No, the weird one is leaking. Got you. The, the one that's going to be a very interesting drink. <laughs> yeah. Your own concoction. It is my own concoction, and I'm actually afraid to drink it. So I, oh. I should just admit right out of the gate that I am a terrible actual tea drinker. I like just black tea because it's got caffeine, and I just want to consume caffeine. Yeah. And so the herbal teas are usually you know much better for you. And have all the, the exotic flavors, but no caffeine. Right. Yeah. And that's uh, kind of where I've always been, too, with all the teas and stuff. I 
I get up really early. We both get up incredibly early and we don't go to bed until very, very late. And we're just busy, busy the, the whole time. So we have to consume a lot of caffeine to continue functioning and <laughs> running or, you know, it's not, it's not a good time. But this particular blend is absolutely delightful. So I'm definitely here for that. This is lovely. Now, I thought I had put notes somewhere on the way to like give away these gift boxes. And we had some ideas, but the week got a, a, away from us like in big epic ways. And eventually lots of we will have a spinning wheel. Yeah, we do, that. we do. We totally want a spinny wheel just to have random things. One of my favorite uh, YouTubers actually does that for their vlog channel, and it's delightful. It's always so much fun to see what it lands on and all the weird things they have to do. But we don't have um, band practice break time. But we don't have uh, a spinning wheel today. And so I'm thinking the best way to do this giveaway thing is... I don't know. First, let's see what's actually going on on this thing. Just for funsies. You want to poll the audience? Could. Obviously, this is going to require audience participation for all of this. So I was really thinking for the giveaway. It sounds weird. It's like the best thing that I came up with on the fly today, though, was uh, random questions about the channel and the first one to answer it right in the chat gets a box trivia right but like then it's sort of all about me and that feels gross isn't it like, all about soap and clay on a live from soap and clay i feel like that makes sense right but like i'm the one that's always giving the information and so i feel i don't know it feels icky <laughs> and if eight different people were on your channel called soap and clay giving the information then it would be better Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. Put names in a hat. That's like a lot of names for me to write down. <laughs> a lot of people on here right now. So I think for sure the rules are definitely if we do the little interaction in the, the channel or in the comments that you can only claim one box. So we keep it fair for everybody. But you are on the live, Patricia. You're here. You're here. You're present. Hi. <laughs> yes. Fastest finger first. Like a literal, <laughs> like the emoji finger of like flipping the bird. <laughs> well, most clever emoji that has to do with what you just asked. Yeah, Chris, you're not biased at all, for sure. Everybody that's closest gets a box. Yeah. <laughs> Make the shipping cheap. Yeah. No, I think maybe we do it that way. And just every so often, we just randomly throw out a question and or slide the comments and stop on one no hi patricia yeah so i think we're gonna do do we tell people it's in the boxes we have 10 different boxes and there's all there's, they're all different oh wow they're all surprise but they're all I awesome i actually thought they were 10 in the same box no i don't roll that way that would be too easy yeah that would be too easy and you've got no notes on them to say what they are. So you've got to pack them all? I have no notes. And so, <laughs> yeah, I think that might actually be fun. Nobody knows what they're going to get. But they're all awesome boxes, for sure. And Blind bags. They're blind bags, which is fun. I love blind bags. For those of us who have kids, blind bags are everything in life. They're just the coolest <laughs> Every thing Every child ever. on the planet apparently loves blind bags. Yeah. You had to unsub and then resub to get in? That's so weird. So weird. Does that count as a new sub with the count? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you made my sub count go down. So, yeah. So, what would be a question? Oh, I get... Okay. Hmm. Okay, first question. I've got it. And I will accept two answers for this. So, maybe two boxes gets, get done immediately. Um, what is Mrs. Soap and Clay's least favorite soaping technique? <laughs> Ready, go. Wait, there's two answers. I will accept two answers. I'm only aware of one. You're only aware of one? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe you should write it down. That'd be fun. Write it down and see if you're right. That could be fun. Come on in. We're, at, we're actually waiting for answers. 
Hi. Do you want to taste some tea? That's the answer. Hey, that is the answer. You are right. But what's the second? Yeah. Um, I, I, I guess you can't say it. Amberly and Violet, you are the first two. Yep, uh, pull through and layers. I would accept oh. both. So, <laughs> yep, I hate both of those. I think e equally, but I actually get in trouble a whole lot for every time I say pull throughs are stupid. Like I get so many dislikes on the videos where I say pull throughs are stupid. That's why I keep doing it. So. Amberly and Violet, you guys uh, email me. That's going to be the best way to actually get me. Email me your address and I will mail these out. But for now, we're going to put your names on two of the boxes. So two of them are given away, which is awesome. What did you think? Hi. Did you come over and can you even be seen? Yeah. If she comes Yeah? Around, yes. Why don't you come over here? She came over for the name. Hi, do you there want to say are. hi to the peoples there? If you look hi. right there. Yeah. Right in their eyes. Yeah, so the self and creepy. Clip, is it creepy? Yeah. Well, you don't have to be on, babes. Well, I'll be on. Oh, okay. Creepy just staring right into some of that. Well, here, you look at the you screen and I'll stare at the camera and then you can see what it looks like, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you like tea. You've been drinking a lot of tea lately, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots and lots, yeah. Yeah, they've been going through it. I had to put eight tea bags in the teapot. Yeah, well, they did a whole tea party and they put eight tea bags into the big <laughs> teapot that they painted. You did you paint that? The owl? I painted the owl one. I painted an owl teapot, and they had a cool tea party with their friends, and they had to put a bunch of tea bags in it. Was that a good time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was a good time. Everybody's saying hello. They're saying hi, kidlet. Hi, cutie. <laughs> yeah, that's kidlet number one. That's right. You always call me something like kid on number, number two. No, I don't. I call you number one. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and set that over there so it's out of the way? Here? Well, not right next to the door. You might trip on it, but right there, that would be great. Oh. Thanks, babe. Yeah, that's good. Here, do you want to take this to Scout and see if she wants to try it? Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay. She's coming back soon. She, I don't know where the curly hair comes from. I have no idea. And uh, she actually is the reason why I started making shampoo bars in the first place. Because her hair is rough. Her hair is difficult to manage. And I wanted something stupid fly. Mm -hmm. I tried to shoot it out. It's annoying. It didn't work. Yeah. And so I was having a rough time shampooing her hair keeping the curls hydrated keeping them untangled and so i started formulating my shampoo bars specifically for her and while some of them worked out really well for me they didn't work out for her and then finally we dialed in a recipe that works well for curly and textured hair which took a long time but it was a uh, i'm distracted by the fly oh i made everything jump with that sorry that fly is an expert. It's very evasive. Yeah, that fly has been on our nerves since we started setting up. Actually. Yeah, no, so it was on the glass on the door. I opened the door like, all the way out and tried to shoot it away. It's in the great outdoors. It flew past me and back into the bar. We'd rather be here. It's your type. This is where the fun thing is. We'll, well done on, on getting that, though. That's awesome. <laughs> I've, I've heard that pull throughs are stupid often. Pull throughs are stupid. <laughs> And they are. My favorite videos to watch because they're a wreck. <laughs> they always are. Yeah. The one where Georgia pulled out like three inches of soap <laughs> with the pull through. Yeah. That was terrible. That didn't pull through. That pulled out. The explodey one. It was like the opposite of a push pop. Yeah. That was that was wild. There was pull throughs are stupid because I don't know how to do them. From what I've seen them. on the footage, I agree. There's no reason at all to do that. Well, they take so long, and those are my least favorite pours ever, the ones that take a really long time. Mm. Hi. I like layers. Thank you. Appreciate it. Did Scout like it? Oh, good. Good. Is that the one I helped with? What? Is that one the one I poured the Fanta into? No, no, this is a warm tea, so no. This is the first one that we were trying. Do you want any more of it? All right. Cool. Yeah, you can finish it off. Yeah, you can go ahead and finish it off. Why don't you go into the house and share it with a scout? And you can come out in a little bit. Or 
if Scout wants to try some of the tea or whatever, she can come out and love it too. Cool, well, bye. <laughs> She's really milking the whole being on camera thing. She's been asking me for months to start a YouTube channel, and I won't let her do it. Uh, until she promises promises that she's not going to be showing her face on camera or any sort of, you know, whatever. So, like, do your gotcha vids or do whatever. And she cannot commit to that format. And so it's a big no for me. But since, you know, we're here today, she gets to do the thing. Oh, yeah, I actually just got an email from one of you. And so, Violet, you, it was not you that I got the email from. The email, you can send it to, okay, uh, just send it to soapandclay at gmail.com, all spelled out, because that's easier than spelling my name, because my name is stupid. <laughs> my I name's mean, cool. No, I mean, it's a cool name. It's still, just hard. still not set up an email address that's just like, old is that something? Oh, no, we have those. I just don't ever check those, like, <laughs> because everything gets sent all the way to my email anyway. Mm hmm if it comes through the actual website. But we have that. We have info and orders and all that. We just Wrap go to the one. Yeah, it goes routed through the website that way. So I don't know if you actually just send one to that email. If it also comes, I have no idea. I don't know how that tech works. That's we that's what my man. brother's for. We need the webman. <laughs> he actually told us last night, because we celebrated his birthday last night at my parents' house, and he told us last night that the first time one of us, somebody said webman, I don't know who, but he immediately thought I was Spider-Man. And so he's like, Webman? I want to be Webman. That's cool. <laughs> Actually, every time we said it last time, he did that. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys like my name. And yeah, that's that's the accurate spelling. So that would be Shantine at SoapandClay.com too. You can send the emails there for anybody who wins the things as well. Yes. Um, any of the tea sent come through after CPOP? I don't actually know because I scented all of them. And so the sense of the things that I scented them with definitely came through. I have seen in a lot of the comments that tea soaps smell delightful all on their own without any fragrance added. So I've heard tell that that is the case. <laughs> I've not ever done it that way. But now I'm interested and want to. You should give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. They smell lovely. Wait, your name isn't Mrs. Self and Clay? I know. Isn't that weird? It's wild. <laughs> yeah, well, Christy, that's true. Because your name can be spelled like 19 different ways, for sure. But, yeah, it's all a weird thing. With all names, though, everybody has very, everybody has very, very strange spellings of just like the easiest names. Like, well, how do you spell Josh? How do you think you spell Josh? Probably the regular way, but sometimes not. No, I bet there's eight different ways to do that as well. Yeah, probably. Because everyone wants to be unique in some way. So they That's give true. the kid, you know, named Ed, somehow nine letters to spell it. Well, like Ed, Ed and Eddie. Remember that cartoon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was two Ds on one of them. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, well, Southern Magnolia. Yeah, it's uh, that's amazing. Having your own shop is... A lot of fun, a lot of work. It's a, uh, it's a lot. There's a lot that goes into running a brick and mortar, for sure, and that's very exhausting. A lot, <laughs> yes. And I'm the only one I know that's spelled with a K and two S's. Yeah, totally. I, I can I get that. Think that's accurate, yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, the most amount of clay I've put in a soap. Wow, that's a good question. I'm going to go with lots. Yeah. Lots. The most amount. It was big. So when I was just messing around and experimenting, I did a video. Well, I don't think I did a video on that. Although I do have another play video coming up in the next month or so, I think. It's on the list. Hope I get to it. I was experimenting, and in a one-pound batch, I put in... 12 ounces by weight of clay and then worked my way back from that because I essentially assumed that was going to be a disastrous bar <laughs> and it was and um, I think the max load on a one pound batch with that test was eight ounces 
and was a very awesome bar of soap. Um, I did that back in the day and didn't film any of that. So I have it on the list to do it again so you guys can see it. But 12 ounces would be the, uh, by weight, would be the most that I've ever put in a one pound batch of soap, which is essentially the, the weight of the oils that went into the, the batch was my reasoning on doing that. Working 12 to 16 hour days from Southern Magnolia. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, that's that's it. That's <laughs> it. Yep. Every day. Yep. It's a lot. Yeah, I uh I love clay and everything too, Patricia. That is my that is my jam. Clay soaps are awesome. But also the incorporating of the tea was so delightful, and I really think I'm gonna change my soap for a while and I might go into a really big tea clay soap kick because that lather, the lather test that I did on the second video of these guys, wow. Did you see the lather? You didn't see it. Have I used it's amazing. Soaps? No, if I so, did it on camera. If so, I've seen the lather. No, you haven't used those ones yet. I don't no. think I've brought any of those home. Well, that's unfortunate. Usually though we get the uh we get the castaways at the house. It's like <laughs> the lines will sell pretty quickly or they'll sell out right away or they'll just be like one of something left and so i'm like okay so this is the soap that we get for the house and actually it is kind of sad because you know whatever i mean it's all been great i don't have to have like the new releases i'm okay with the clearance section yeah so was there was there anything weird with putting tea in the soap because you've done all sorts of like beer soap wine soap pine tar so yeah you've mixed lots of weird things and it was it just easy Actually, this one, a tea is really easy to incorporate. That was, you didn't have any sort of, I mean, you ran into some discoloration pro problems, but I was most surprised by how few problems with discoloration there actually were because at the end of it, I had selected very light colored oils. And so the tea soaps themselves ended up very light in color during sanitation. I actually think I have... Oh, yeah. I have at least a set that includes some of these guys in here, too. So, just like, like, look how nice that ended up being. It's so cute. I love that so much. Yes. I just, I just love this. Oh, smell that. Name. It's not that one. Smell up, it says. It does. It's Isn't lovely. it good? But the name on it was a lot. Yeah. I'm your Huckleberry. But, yeah. Oh, but speaking of. I don't know that I said it yesterday in the whatever. The first, the coupon code for Plum Deluxe is good through the end of August. So go get your tea at a discount. That would be cool. And second, all of my tea soaps are on the website right now. And I left the coupon code for that in yesterday's video in the description box. And a lot of you do read the description box, it turns out, because I got a lot of orders <laughs> uh, using the code. But it's also, it's Plum Deluxe for me. So you can get, I think it's 30% off of the tea soaps until the end of today. So there's that. Um, but uh, other than that, I don't know that we actually did have any real problems with soaping. It was um, hard to get to trace. I found that it was it took longer to trace with the tea soaps, but then they stayed really reasonably fluid throughout the entire pour, which was nice. Because thick soap batter is wild. And terrible for pull throughs. Yeah, they're not good for pull throughs <laughs> either. Yeah, yeah, liquid uh, and purees. Yeah, I like doing fancy waters just across the board. It's just, in a lot of ways, there's not any... Oh, you haven't seen any of my tea videos. You like to binge. I get it. I get it. I like to binge too. And then when I've come to the end of a content creator's library... I just started all over again. <laughs> and that's cool for some content creators because a lot of videos, I guess I would be considered one of those. Like all of the soaps, they sort of stand on their own. Like the videos stand on their own and can stand the test of time. But I actually follow a lot of political commentary. And so going back and like listening to political podcasts or political YouTube channels or whatever from like four years ago is wild. Because it's like, yeah, well, that's insane. These aren't the same problems anymore, and we and don't know what's about to happen. But now you do, going back in hindsight, and so it's wild 
listening to that stuff over again. Yeah, the predictions and the worries are interesting. Yeah, they really are. It's from, crazy. You know, years ago. Yeah. So that's funny with that particular thing. But like Bailey Sarian, I think I've been through all of her content <laughs> probably twice at least. And it's delightful every time. And I still giggle at all of her jokes every single time. So I get the binge watching for sure. Uh, silk. Yeah, silk is cool. That's a really fun thing to put into your waters for sure because it adds some nice softening properties. I think it does something with hard water too. Not sure. Don't quote me on that. But you can also use the corn silk from your corn on the cob miss, into your lye water. I missed that comment on silk. Is that like silk worm silk? Um, yeah, exactly. Silk fibers. Yeah. You put that in soap? Yeah. In the lye water. It dissolves into the water. It dissolves. So it's not In like, the hot water. It's not like strings of cobwebs when you're lathering up. I mean, you can if you put it in when it, the, the water is too cool. And you can strain at that point if you don't want it in. Okay. So, uh, would you infuse the tea in the water? Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's, that's what we did. We made a very strong tea and then used that after the, the tea cooled, use that for the water solution that the lye went into. A lot of silk. I love that your daughter always wants to watch the soap lady. I love that. Yes, Tessa silk is great too, for sure. Uh, silk's very popular. Yeah, but you can use the corn silk, the fibers from corn as well that you get off corn on the cob. You can put it into your lye water and it has the same effect. So that's very cool. And that's free. I mean, assuming you have corn on the cob. <laughs> so I guess you have to pay a dollar for four ears of corn and then it's free. You throw that away normally, right? Does that dissolve also? Mm -hmm. Corn silk. Yeah. Wow. It's wild what lie dissolves. That's no, brutal. Well, yeah. You could like dispose of bodies with that. Well, weirdly, <laughs> yes and no, but I watched this true crime channel that talked about at some point the lie for a certain period of time when you're trying to dissolve, you know, whatever. It actually preserves the body. And so if the detectives can catch it at the right time, they have all the evidence they need. I heard this on a true crime. I didn't look it up, but I found it very interesting. <laughs> wow, I don't know. That's unfortunate if you were planning on using lye for that sort of thing. Well, yeah, then all of those people, they... Uh, can you pour me one of those teas? Yeah, which one? I don't really care, actually. I'm excited to try both of them. I'm going to start with Leaky Leaky. You're going to start with the weird one? Is this the weird one? Yeah. I thought this was weird. Okay. No. We're going to save the weird one for last. We're going to save the weird one for last, okay. Yeah, that, that carrot cake soap looked so good. Like, it was so good. What's this we've got here? That is the huckleberry. Oh, and I think that's a black tea one. I think, I think. Yes, this one is called Huckleberry Happiness, and it says black tea, elderberries, aronia berries. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Black currants, blueberries, hibiscus, corn flowers, huckleberry essence, and love and gra gratitude. And caffeine. And caffeine. I mean, I would show you guys the thing, but like, there's nothing in it. I used it, but you know. <laughs> there you are. It's there it is. It's the thing. So, this is the Doc Holiday tea then? On your huckleberry. Yep, yeah. which is what I named the soap that this one that we use this tea for was I'm your, I'm your Huckleberry from Tombstone. Because wildly inaccurate video, but still a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I would plug that into Soap Calc the exact same way that you plug in regular olive oil the the difference in lye is not going is going to be negligible with that 75 25 ratio thank you curtis for letting me know that 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 question came through i didn't see it that's funny it's too early in the day for my post that's awesome <laughs> yep i've weirdly taken to just kind of posting at like six o'clock at night and i try to get them up 
earlier, but then the day just goes nuts. Like tomorrow's video, I don't even have done. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that this weekend. It's not done. And it's a long one. It's coming along though, yeah. Made some progress. I've made some progress thinking about it. <laughs> well, I mean, I already started it. Tomorrow's video is supposed to be the labeling video. Tomorrow's video is the labeling video. It will be out. It might be out at 11.58 p.m., <laughs> but it's going to be out. And um, I have not started that one. So, well, but I started it in the, you know, the video where we did what is a soap, what is a cosmetic, what is a drug. So. Yeah, it's like it part two of that, really, isn't it? Yeah, and so it should come along just fine, I feel. Right? Yeah, it'll be good. I, I got mean, it. You know everything you need to say. You just got to do it and record it. Yeah. But we have a <laughs> lot of work still left today. We have to get all the other three walls and a roof on that thing. Yeah, at least three more walls. At least three more walls. We got it. I've got to run out and get the roofing. So it's true. I not toss that up yet. Do you, do you have it? Is that ready to go? Did they confirm? Yeah, they did finally. Oh, cool. That was six thirty last night. Yeah, which is thirty minutes before they closed. Yeah, so obviously it didn't happen. Deborah, I'm glad that you like the longer ones. I have really been wanting to do more long form content for sure, and not every day, obviously, but you know, just the longer, deeper dive because I find for the 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 subjects that I really want to explain, it always ends up being with a video like. Shampoo bars, for example, is a prime example of that because the actual making of a shampoo bar does not take much time. I mean, we're talking about seven minutes for a pour to pour like 400 bars. It's not long. And then the cutting, you know, whatever. And that doesn't give me enough time to actually talk about why I formulated this the way that I did, the oils that I selected, all of the extra, you know, cool things. And I don't much like that so i have been considering doing some long form content and really just diving deep on different parts of soap making or even you know just a random let's talk all about argan oil and the properties and what its uses are across all of soaps and cosmetics and those sorts of big things because i really enjoy research and i enjoy what i do and i have all this stuff in my brain and in books and in notes and all the things and I don't know I like to talk about it and so it's cool to have you guys because he doesn't like hearing it like that's not that's not nice well it's also accurate it's not not nice that you don't like like it's completely acceptable that you don't like hearing it <laughs> like you come home and start talking to me about these crazy things you're doing at work or cars or whatever and I will sit there and listen but you see my eyes glaze over like <laughs> Yes. I'm in my happy place right now. I'm nice in the Shire. It's nice that you have an audience that share your passion. Right. So they get it. So, you know, that's, I like that. Someone said something earlier about having red huckleberries in their lawn. And I feel like that's poisonous and probably not a huckleberry. A red huckleberry? Yeah. I don't know anything about huckleberries. I just learned yesterday that <clears throat> huckleberries and blueberries are from the same family yeah that comment also came through that a huckleberry is like a high altitude blueberry which is wild and oh this I, is delightful that, by the yeah. way very refreshing <laughs> the huckleberry tea. yes the huckleberry tea is very delightful and refreshing it's like a a black sun tea with a little bit of blueberry flavor yeah it is lovely it's not at all tart it's also not what i would call sweet at all no no just, there's no just sweetness the flavor of blueberry not yeah any of the sweetness from the juice or whatever yeah yeah, Sharon, my most favorite YouTubers in general are really long content. Like, the longer the better. I see a video that's three hours long, and I'm like, absolutely. And I just turn it on the background. I'm not just, like, looking at my phone the whole time. But it's the soundtrack as I'm going through my day. And so I like it when I don't have to continue going over and finding a new video to listen to or watch or whatever. So I enjoy that a lot. Uh, what to do with the soap paste and bubble bath. Yeah, so we have a video coming up a couple days. Another recipe using the soap paste. Yes. And bubble bath 
I don't know. I feel like I've done like four or five videos with bubble bar recipes. So probably not until closer to Christmas for bubble bars. But you can use soap paste to make bubble bath too, which is cool. Like the liquid stuff. Red huckleberries are not poisonous. Oh, good to know. Stop yeah. correcting. Never had one. Um, I have read that black tea has equivalent, if not more, caffeine than coffee. Have you read that? Yeah, there's a, there's a significant amount of caffeine in black tea. Is that the highest, or is green tea the highest? I thought green tea didn't have caffeine. Green tea definitely has caffeine. Does it? Mm -hmm. It's awful, but it has caffeine or not. So stick with black tea. Just drink more of it. So back when I was training every day, and I was on like a very specific, stupid diet, whatever, I had to drink green tea. I could have drank coffee or green tea. And I didn't drink coffee back then. So I drank green tea. And I actually developed a taste for it. Straight. You can't put milk in it. You couldn't put sugar in it. Like that was... Yeah, I no, developed I've, a taste for it after I've that. I've witnessed you consume green tea. I've just always thought every variant of green tea was terrible. I, I like it. I think green tea's good. To each their own. Yeah. Soap paste. Looking at... There's... Oh, cold processed soap paste. That's a video that's also coming up, Chris. And you're going to hear my thoughts on it it can be done it can totally be done i just don't like to do it so i'm gonna whine a lot uh yeah green tea is higher that's what i thought that's why i think there's an equivalent for that's why i thought there was a i was offered the equivalent between coffee and green tea when i was doing all that training so that would mean black tea doesn't have as much caffeine as coffee then no yeah. Now, Rocky, I do have music in the background for my voiceovers, but it's cranked really, really far down for in those moments wherein perhaps I stop talking and then there's dead air and it's just very unnervingly silent. Um, I don't ever really stop talking, though. So <laughs> Every now and then you pick up a, a subtle few notes. There's every once in a while, like when I'm going, what? But I, I talk a lot. Waiting for your ingredients to arrive to make soap paste, which is awesome. Yes, that's soap paste is really cool. I'm glad that you're into that content because I really do want to do properties of oils and all that jazz and do some big breakdowns. So that would be a lot of fun for me. I shouldn't say these things actually on the interwebs because somebody else is going to start it before me and then it's probably already been done though. There are a lot of soapers out there and to think that any of us come up with anything original is silly just across the board in life just in general somebody's done it but you're charming and enjoyable so it doesn't matter if someone else has done it yeah i mean i guess that's true like bailey sarian i love her but i don't really listen to any other murder mystery type things you yeah know? bailey's also charming i've Makes tried sense. a couple others and i just don't like them as much she does it better because she's enjoyable to listen to Actually, I got into, what was her name? Stephanie Harlow. Do you guys know Stephanie Harlow? If you're into the murder mystery thing. She's interesting. For sure. And she does deep dives. So I like that. It's, so doing a live in like the middle of the day, there's more comments than I can keep up with. Yeah. It's, it's, I think we're missing a lot. I know. There's a lot of comments going through here, for sure. I don't want oh. to sit here and read comments. All, I know. All things, well, but. you know what? We're going to have to read comments right now, though, because it's about time to give away some boxes. We've oh, got good. to be doing this. My God. we What are we doing? We're just... Sorry. All right. So, next giveaway. No soap paste does not have to be dual eye. And I don't think I did that in my last soap paste video. Um, good question. Oh, I'm going to have to write it down. Okay. So let's see. Um, Okay, so this will be fun. First person to get this right will get the next box. Okay, so of the following four themes, 
which is a theme we have not done. And this is for both years. Come on in. <laughs> this is such weird timing. <laughs> Hi. I've got it's some suspense. I've got some tea for you to try. I know you want to try just a little bit though. This one has caffeine, okay? Just a little sip. Yum. Do you like that? Yes. Awesome. What do you think it tastes like? Tea? Do you think it tastes like tea? You don't know? Have you gone mute? <laughs> I'm going to ask a question real quick, okay? <clears throat> okay, but you cannot blurt out the answer because you probably know. Also, yeah. okay, got it? Yeah. All right. And don't say anything. Yep, and don't jump. Okay, so of the follow of the following four, which is a theme that we have not yet done on the channel? That's for both years. Um, a Harry Potter, two Star Wars, C Game of Thrones, or four Labyrinth. First one to do the thing um, gets the next you don't get box, to and you don't get to answer. Yes, they are guessing. But yeah, you see Sock Monkey on there. Awen's on the chat. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sock Monkey. <laughs> Awen's chatting at you all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she is. I don't know why I just shushed you when all I'm doing is reading the things. I was waiting for an answer. <laughs> and that was really weird. Mom's listening for the typing. All right. Uh, Denise, yes, you were the first one through. Star Wars is the correct answer. We have not done Star Wars yet. So, That's crazy. Yes. Now you can go ahead and talk to me about why that's wrong. Tell the peoples why that's also a wrong question, answer. That is a wrong answer because I'm pretty sure we already have done Star Wars. Yeah, we did because we did and grew. Well, that's not Star way. Wars. Well, Groot isn't Star Wars. <laughs> Groot is Guardians of the Galaxy. It's basically Star Wars. Can you do me a favor and put that over there by the door with the other two? Yeah. All right, yeah, Denise, Galaxy send me an email so at silkandclay so at gmail or shantine at silkandclay.com. And, and you can't jump in here, baby cakes. Remember, what? Can I take the tea that you can so she can try it? Uh, no, not this tea. You're going to have to have her come out for that one, okay? I don't want you guys to drink too much of it because you guys aren't allowed caffeine. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Yeah, send me an email and I'll get this box shipped out to you with your address and I'll get the box shipped out. But, yes, um, the Star Wars is a bit of a trick question because for them, they already know it has been done because it's all finished. That is the next theme that we are doing, and it's the Soprentices theme, so it's going to be wild, for sure. And yeah, so that was a, going to be a confusing question for her, regardless. And um, the Soprentice made a Yoda soap. I don't... Did she make a Yoda soap? I don't think so. I mean, Not she didn't... Recall. Yeah. But yeah, Star Wars was the right answer, for sure. Labyrinth was done. That was also a Soprentice design. And Game of Thrones and Harry Potter were, Potter were always mine. Because that one, those two have been around forever. So that was almost an easy, easy question. Yeah, and because also Game of Thrones have been around for a long time. Forever, yes. They've been uh, around for a minute. Um, Yeah, Star Wars is going to be the next theme. And it's actually pretty exciting. And I've started the edits on these and I want to apologize in advance for the ear problems I'm going to give you just for like five seconds in <laughs> probably every video because I'm doing something obnoxious and I'm sorry there's some but interesting it was fun audio. yes it was funny uh Yoda soap dough did she do a Yoda soap dough I don't know but we haven't done a Star Wars theme before like the whole thing well, hi can you please stop like pulling open the door big like that? Yes. Thank you. You make the camera bounce. I also have caffeine. This one does have caffeine, so you can have just a just a taste. What do you think? I like it. Very we refreshing. Have, Good. We've got some sort of discrepancy with who was the first person to answer on that last box. Oh, we do. We'll have to scroll through the comments and sort it out. Well, who else think it was a? Hold on. 
Oh, yeah. She, she went inside to get on We've YouTube. We've got Squeaker Scout up there, too. She went inside to get on YouTube. I saw yours earlier, too, baby girl. Let's go up. See, I have... No, we saw yours, love. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. On my lane, I have Sock Monkey, Katie Bell, Chastity Cat, and Denise Ramirez, and that's when the Star Wars comments started. So that's what I'll have there, for sure. It's all good. Being from the UK and... Uh, what? What Oh, no. Do you still have your account up? Cool. Hi, Squeaker. Did she Very just go inside so she could say hi on YouTube? I think so, yes. <laughs> but we can totally do... Oh, I, I have one. What, do you... I have an idea. What? You're going to ask the next question, okay? This is an easy peasy one, for sure. Can you ask it to the camera? You're going to have to ask it to the camera. Okay. Yeah, go for it. What is Mrs. Silpin Clyde's favorite color? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> and that's one that we actually share, we have in common. And it's related to soap because I'm really bad at soaping with it. I never do well soaping this color, but it's my favorite. Don't say anything more. Don't say anything more. So let someone else answer. Right. Being a fish. <laughs> yes. I'm being a fish, Sarah. And Tara, you got the first one in there. My favorite color is purple. Yes. What's your favorite color? And I am purple. Yeah. That's your favorite color too. And I am terrible at soaping purple. There is. Oh, everyone knows that. Look. Yes. <laughs> There's an onslaught of answers there. I am terrible. Yes. Terrible at soaping <laughs> purple. So that's the worst color ever for me. And <clears throat> we are going to give Tara this box. Tara, send me an email. Shanty at soapandclay.com or soapandclay at gmail.com. Can you put that next to the, the thing? Thank you so much. That's so helpful. Awesome. It is a lot of soap, for sure. You're being very silly. Yes. And I'm getting these emails in, so it's good. Excellent news. Absolutely. What do you think? We're trying to give away boxes, and we don't exactly know how to structure this. So we're like, you know. We're just winging it. <laughs> Making it up as we go. Yeah. What questions do we think you think we should ask? Mm -hmm. I know. It's really hard. I thought I had a really good one as well. Oh, yeah, that's too hard, though. Yeah, because you guys are barely on the channel. And, mm -hmm. yeah, so that one's a really tough one, for sure. It's a good idea, though. Oh, that's an impossible one. They wouldn't know that at all. <laughs> but they don't know that. That's not soap-related. Yeah. You're, you're my daughter, so it makes sense that you know. You yeah. can't expect anyone else to know. Uh, you put his favorite color in soap all the time. Yeah, I sure do. I know, but they wouldn't know that. We're going to have yeah. to move on from favorite color questions. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be something else. Why don't you head inside and uh, think about any cool questions. If you have a cool idea, you know, come back in. Okay? She's going hard on wanting me to ask Mr. Self and Clay's favorite color. <laughs> How the hell would you know that? <laughs> Obviously, you talk about that all the time. Of course, I do. Because she yeah. knows. So but the thing is, I do us. talk about my favorite color all the time. So that's one that is a thing. Yeah, I think everyone answered. Yeah. No, no, there's another waterfall of comments. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, the delay with some of the things are always weird. This is, yeah, crazy depending on your devices and all of the jazz. And if you're delayed in the actual stream, because if you had to like click over to answer a like a text and then you come back you're like 20 you know i'm trying to explain something that you already understand and i'm sorry for that i find myself doing that way too much yeah i've, I've no idea how to compensate for lag on a live stream yeah well thanks annette i appreciate that a lot that was that was a big day i was so excited it was cool that webman was here and uh you guys got to do the thing and that was that was fun. It was Webman. a fun night. Yeah. <laughs> was that the first time we called him Webman? Was it that night? Mm, yeah, I think so. All right. Yeah, That's Webman. Where it came from. Yep, Mr. Webman. 
Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six more boxes to give out and soap related things. I also had another one that I would accept two answers to. And yeah, it's he's not a green blue kind of guy. It's a good good guess though. It's not blue or green. It's a good guess. For sure. It is Shantine's planning. It's what I do. I'm just like really trying to yeah i i have a tendency to do that and i just i stop myself often because you know i don't want to down whatever anyway <laughs> ha, 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 ha. so you, you had a question that you would accept two answers to but you've forgotten the question i have yeah mm. i have i had one that came to my head that i was going to accept two answers to and therefore we could give away two different boxes but I have since forgotten it. That's unfortunate. I know. It is unfortunate. Yes. You've got, like, what, 442 days of content now. Yeah, I know. It's a lot. Hmm? Was that the right? Are those the maths? I don't know if those are the maths. Well, 365 that. plus day 84 today, plus that one between, like, the end of the year, so day 366. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I didn't count that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. Oh, Sock Monkey said she figured out a question. Look at that. <laughs> She'll be back in soon. I wonder if she types it out. She probably will. She's gonna she's gonna type it out in chat and then we can do that. I don't know. What's that question from Rocky? What soap did you put a gazillion different things in? What soap did you put a gazillion different things in? I don't remember. I don't either. Yeah. I don't know. Well, welcome, Soap Chef. How was your farmer's market? Was it good times? Good weather? All that jazz? Yours? She's coming. She's on her way. Let's see. Here comes the question. What's the question? Come here. Whisper it in my ear. Oh, that one's hard, and I don't think I've talked about it on the on the, the channel. I mean, I have sort of talked about it on the channel, but... Oh, definitely haven't talked about that on the channel either. I know. Those are all really good, though. Yeah. I try to keep things sort of soap-related. <laughs> <laughs> sort of soap-related yeah, on the thing. Mom's trying to ask questions about the business, love. Oh, they would definitely not know that either, because I don't know that. And I think they're going to find that out in the next 10 days or so. Those are good questions, though, for sure. Let's see. That is, this is kind of a, yeah, weird one. Well, here's an easy, 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 easy peasy one. But I will give away two boxes with this one, because everybody's going to get it right immediately. But you also have to be very specific with the answer. I'll give away two boxes, but, you know, you have to be specific. Ish. Yeah, not ish. Ish. Not ish. <laughs> Definitely specific. <laughs> Precise. Yes. Not so, bad. for the first 100 days of year one, where was I filming? Ready, go. Be specific. <laughs> Watch and see what this does. Out a different okay baby that sounds good she's doing so good she's definitely trying it's so sweet yes did you love the sugar scrubs um from the soap paste all right so we've got southern magnolia candle and soapery yes chris yes so you were the first two that came through it was not in my shower it was in my tub, <laughs> but it looks like the same thing. And because, for so many people... Because who has a chandelier? In, in their the shower, shower. yes. Know. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you guys send me an email, and I will get boxes out for you. And actually, who was the one right below? Because actually, I'll just give one out for that, too. Because technically... Yeah, and Erica, send me an email too with your address so I can get 
a box out for you too because yes shower because a lot of people bathtub and showers in the same thing but also I did have a video wherein I said why would I be filming in my shower there's a chandelier overhead it was my bathtub but everybody for the first 100 days thought I was filming in my shower and that was very funny and kind of not wrong so that was a uh, really really wild because the house is it has been in some level of construction for a long time and that was the only area that was sort of like done ish hi and so we uh it was where i could set up hi hello how are you good good what are you doing coming back oh cool here since you're here, I want you to go ahead and hop down and take that over there for me. And then I've got another for you. Here you go. You're welcome. And then one more. You're welcome. There you go. Okay. Thank so you. Good. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Can you head inside and um, can you head inside, please, and think really hard about a good question for the for this? The... I have a good question. The okay. email is shantine at soapandclay dot com or soapandclay at gmail dot com. Oh wow! See, that's a it's a very that's a good question for sure. I like it. I might ask that one. Yes. Hey, no, baby, you know that you can't be crawling around on that, remember? Those were the rules. And I am going to go ahead and ask you to go inside now because you are bouncing around. Yes, when you come back, let's try to be a little bit calmer, okay? I'm going to bounce the camera. People don't like the loud. What was the second tension? I wanted to work. What? I knew the bathtub. What was the second tension? You said you would accept two answers on that. Yeah, so shower or tub. Because for the first 100 days, people thought that I was filming in my shower. Right. But I did specifically bring it up in one video wherein I was like, it's not my shower, it's my tub. Because there's a chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> but then I started filming directly over the mat, under the matching chandelier in Scout's room. Right. And so people just thought I put <laughs> curtains in the tub. We just added a window. Just, just put oh, yeah, curtains Oh, yeah, because it was those blackout behind. curtains. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I could see that. Yep um you're getting ready to move today well hey thanks for hanging out good luck moving that's not fun at all hardest thing to overcome when you started your business um i guess the failure the the fear of failure that one was tough but that's always been tough for me um and that's always been something that weirdly it terrifies me but it also motivates me at the same time to keep pushing and not let myself fail but that one was a big one for sure and other than that I don't know I had such a great support team just across the board from the very beginning I had Mr. Silk and Clay and he built all the things that I needed and Mr. Webman that built my website <laughs> and just all of the awesome support around me that it made it a lot easier and plus it was just fun you know this this sort of business is a lot harder but also easier than other businesses to start because you're just having fun the whole time which i like okay bye uh, bye francesco oh well yeah totally send me a box i like things Thank you. I think I'm getting some soaps from a different, another Sudzer, too, to test out. I'm very excited. I think there's a beer soap and an aloe soap, and I want to test those and test them against mine, because that would be cool. It'd be cool if you could integrate other soapers into the channel somehow. Yeah, actually, it would be very cool. And I've thought about doing, well... Tier 3 cup. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Yeah. It would be cool, though. Great idea. <laughs> like where your head's at. Can I have some of that other tea? I want to try that weirdness. So this one now. Yeah. 
we can use the little glasses that are there because that is a weird tea. So I have not made an office themed soap line yet. No, have not done that yet. It would be amazing though. There are a lot of options for that. The, uh, so this particular tea drink thing that we did with Plum Deluxe. So we used the strawberry tea that I started all the soaps out with. And I was on their website and Plum Deluxe has such a cool website. It's very interactive. They do blogs and all kinds of fun stuff on it. Very vibrant, whatever. And they had tea lemonade, lemonade tea, you know, whatever. And then they sold their own little powdered version to turn it into. And I didn't have that on hand. And so I went to the gas station today, which is always funny to do in the Tesla because like, you don't need gas. <laughs> But I went to the gas station to get lemonade, and I don't know. I thought gas stations just had lemonade, like some Minute Maid or something, and they didn't have it. And so they had pineapple Fanta. Oh, God. And so That's what's in here. we have a, a very strong strawberry tea, <laughs> very strong brew of strawberry tea mixed with pineapple Fanta. Wow. Yeah. It's so. Uh... Yeah. The tables that Mr. Self and Clay made for my shop are gorgeous. Yes. It's delightful. It smells good. It smells great. It does. Sweet. It does yeah. smell good. You go first. On three? Same time. One, two, three. I don't like it. That's actually, I think that's quite good. Do you like yeah. that? I All I can taste is the Fanta. Well, yeah, now that you said this Fanta. I bet lemonade and the strawberry tea would have been really <laughs> good, though. Just can't do that. Yes. Uh, no, it was. That's terrible. Why do they still sell it? So what? What I miss? Mm, you can't say that word though on online. I have made a lot of friends with like YouTube creators, like big proper creators, in the last few months. Not soapers, but other. They're telling me all the things that you can and cannot do on the interwebs, and I had no idea. So it's that's in Canada. All right then. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Let's take that over there. <laughs> that that was not as much fun, for sure. It's not as good as the others. Yeah. The other two were very refreshing, though. Yes. Yes, I've done whiskey soap, Southern Magnolia. Um. Bourbons mostly have never done a vodka and soap. It's a different process. Normally for like beers and wines, wine soaps, I don't boil anything out. But for <laughs> alcohol soaps, I do. And also because it has just such a high alcohol content in your heart in your heart A. But also I don't use it as 100% of my water uh, to substitute for my water. I do usually 25% because that becomes a very expensive soap. Once you put in like, you know, say 10 ounces of like a bourbon or a whiskey or something and it boils down to like four when it's all said and done. So it's usually 25% of the total water and then I substitute the rest, either beer or water, whatever. My throat is killing me. Can you go grab the, yeah. What? Or the, the, the. Oh. That would, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. That would. That would be hilarious, actually. Yeah. yeah, the the computer is telling us it needs to be plugged in or it's about to die. And we finally figured out the camera thing. So, of course, that would be what would happen. It's like, yeah, I'm going to... I think it's on this side. Oh, it's not. You're right. You're so good. You know my computer better than me. Well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that would be just our luck. We figured out the camera thing finally and the... The computer dies. Uh, ha, ha. Yeah, whiskey soap is great. I love whiskey soap so much. The oven Mr. Soap and Clay made. Yeah, I can show you that. We're going to be doing a lot of showing soon. A lot of different <laughs> things. Going to be a lot of stuff going on. Lots of making. Lots of making. Lots of things. Shuffling yes. Shuffling around. Yeah. Replacing. We're always doing that, though. The shop is always in some sort of weird state of flux. Yes, so, so is our lives, really. Yeah. They're always being constructed. 
Oh, I have a question. And somebody asked earlier if we could just randomly select from the comments for like the last box. And yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, so we will do that for the last box. And Mr. Soap and Clay can scroll through and figure out which to do. But I do have a question that also has two answers. And so therefore two boxes. Again, if you've already got a box, don't guess. <laughs> Wait for the end of the question. I have two dogs, both of which have been on the channel. Give me the name of one. And again, there are two dogs, so therefore two answers. I think that's a good one. It's a great one. Yeah. It's like but talk it, about them. Also, Doc Holiday came up earlier. So, so I have two dogs. One for each of you. Exactly. Ah, that would have been fun too. <laughs> Use bourbon, cooked it down as an additive once. Yeah, yeah. Whiskey soaps are delightful. They're so much fun. And you can actually put them in as an additive mm -hmm. instead, use, instead of putting in with your lye solution. Marianne is right, and Curtis is right. You guys are the first two. Send me a message. Well done. That was fast, you guys. Wow. You've got stalkers. <laughs> I love this. This is cool. Yes. Penny and Mazakine. Penny and Mazakine. I'm surprised they're not howling at your door. I don't know why they're they're not. Yeah, we actually put them inside the dog run for this, so they weren't randomly all over the place. <laughs> We're gonna have to let them out. So that'll be fun, fun, fun. Yes, and for the last box, you're totally gonna have to just randomly scroll through some. I like how. Sock Monkey answered. Thank you, Sock Monkey. You in the box. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, what's the name of one of your dogs? Hey, what's the name of your dog? Yeah, because it's your dog. You want me to put those over there? Are they good? They're fine right. there. We actually have room now over there. Oh, I'm glad that you like the videos. Thank you for being a part of all of it. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Sock Monkey still. You pick what? What are you talking about? Oh, she said that she's going to randomly pick. Oh. All right. Oh, pick the comment. That's all fine. Right. So, okay, Sock Monkey, scroll through all the comments so you can see and pick a winner. <laughs> yeah, for the last box. That would be a good idea. Yes. And, yeah, these are my people, too. They're, uh, yeah, the Danes are, you have six Danes, Marianne? That's a lot of dog to feed. That's so much dog to feed. We go through, like, <laughs> 150 pounds of food every three weeks. The chewy, the delivery people hate us just in general around here, <laughs> but the chewy orders are legit. Like, I think that's a lot. The dog food is the heaviest order that we have regularly. You're never home when I when they I have to bring my. I actually go out to UPS or the FedEx van or USPS or whatever when I know soap stuff is coming. Oh yeah, those boxes are heavy because they get heavy. Yeah, it's a lot. I love it when they put a bucket in a box. Yeah, some people do that. Yeah. So wild to me. Oh, yeah, no, weirdly, on one, I don't know if you guys, you know, where you guys go for your soapy whatever, but the uh, fragrance company that we're using for the next theme, the Star Wars theme, is Just Sense, as recommended by somebody in the community tab. And you mentioned the shipping, and I remembered. So... Remember when that showed up and I came out here to show you and it was just a plastic bag full of 10 cents just thrown into a plastic bag? Yes. And that was the shipping. Like, that's how it <laughs> showed up at my house. And I completely forgot about that until like, yesterday somebody said the same about Just Sense on the Facebook, on one of the Facebook forums. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that was weird. It was really crappy. All of my scents were fine, though. None of them were like broken or leaking or anything but apparently theirs were that was the weirdest way i've ever seen sense shipped ever i mean it's right there in the name though isn't it just sense you're getting nothing else nothing not, else. not even a container not even a box yeah just sense yeah it was wild that was a uh, that was crazy like sometimes when i get nice you know when i get sense and stuff i want to do a nice unboxing because their presentation is beautiful Although I don't think presentation should be beautiful when you're shipping something in bulk for, you know, somebody's going to make. That's not my requirement. 
<laughs> for that. But I found that to be wholly unprofessional. Like, wow, it's you just you just put it in a plat and you put a. It was wild. The craziest thing. Oh, German Shepherd Poodle Mix. Somebody up, up top said they have a tiny chihuahua and a big bully, too. I missed that comment. I guess who said it, but that's funny. Yep. I had that first time. Huh? Really? A chihuahua and a... Well, a oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Mastiff. You did. That's right. In your old life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. There are such... They do bagged fragrances in Canada? Like, just... Like the bags that, like the bags that Brambleberry uses for like the, that you can put into the, uh, the microwave to melt down, like really thick, dirt. that's the assumption, right? <laughs> We've gone off the rails into everything being bagged. Is that like box wine? Like wine in a bag? Just maybe. In a bottle? Yeah, maybe. Uh, bulk supplier for my oils. Um... I actually found a supplier that's local up in Seattle and Mr. Soap and Clay found them and they do, they do all kinds of stuff. I mean, they service restaurants, of course, and, but they also do like farm and they do, they do all kinds of stuff. The only problem with them is you have to buy in very, very big bulk. I mean oh the yeah. drums of oils and so if you're not ready to actually jump make the jump to that and have the ability to get them from the thing and then get them out of the truck at your house because they don't ship usually with places like that i would go with soper's choice because i think they're the best prices i've ever seen and still reasonable bulk for sure yeah i i rarely i very rarely in all of the years and years that I've been getting scents from all over the place, I have very rarely had one that's leaked. Ever. And so, but when it happens, it does suck. Oh, it was a joke. Okay, they have bagged me. Okay, because so I'm just going, oh, are they going to, and it's not going to eat in the <laughs> show of hands in the chat. How many of you have put your fragrance, speaking of fragrance and thin plastic, into like a Dixie cup or some sort of whatever, and then you come back and get ready to soap and the cup has been eaten through and the fragrance is all over the counter? I heard about that, yeah. I wasn't thinking one day and I was preparing <laughs> colorants for something and I also poured some fragrance oil into and it, uh, into another little. And yeah, it ate right through it immediately. It was terrible. That was not was fun. Yeah, Soper's Choice is good. Definitely check them out. Their prices are great. Even with shipping, I've still found that their prices are cheaper mm -hmm. than anything else on the block. Oh, yeah, back to Just Sense. Because somebody was saying they were interested in trying them. They are now owned by Wholesale Supplies Plus. I didn't know that. Maybe you did. But this company was brand new to me. I'd never heard of it before. And I got on their website and I'm like, oh no, this looks like Wholesale Supplies Plus, which is great. There's <laughs> nothing really wrong with Wholesale Supplies Plus, but their shipping times are crazy. So I was worried that we weren't going to get the scent in, in time to even make anything. Oh, now the puppies are getting angry. <laughs> I don't think Sock Monkey actually picked a, a thing, a name. She's still looking. Hi. Hi. What's up? Cool. You cycle gas from a weed eater into a styrofoam cup. Yeah, it's not good at all. Yeah, that's, that's like... Um, they were like people trying to make homemade napalm by melting styrofoam into gasoline yeah. just recently. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Or yeah. like when everybody was trying to get the gas because there's going to be a gas shortage or something or whatever, and they were literally <laughs> using plastic bags and, and cooler. Yes, that was amazing. Some people. <laughs> some people are crazy. Hello. Um, yeah did you help <laughs> i don't think anyone's gonna actually do this and we are actually gonna have to get running so yeah i think yeah scout since you're here why don't you help daddy scroll through the comments and you can pick the final box okay. don't touch anything yeah you can't touch this guy here can you see it right there 
Yes. Yeah, yeah right there. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Here. So when we start, when we you when we find like a cool comment or something that you might like, or even a fun name or something, oh, this is you tell him to stop, and we can give the final box to that person. I know that fly has been bothering us all day. Can you look here yes. at the names in the comments and help us pick the last person to give the gift box to? This is about as slow as I can scroll, all right? Okay. What do you say? Um, I don't know really what I get out of Do you want to pick any of those um, names? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do each one. Which one? What'd you say? <laughs> I lost it all and I'm trying to get it again. That one. Sally C. Sally C? Yes. Sally C. Sally C, Soap and Clay Kidlet number two, has selected you for the final box. So that's awesome. If you want to uh, give me a, or send me an email, at shantine at soapandclay.com or soapandclay at gmail.com. We will ship that out. Send me your address. That would be cool. Thank you for helping. Oh, God. Oh, oh. So I guess I oh. have to put the final box over there. Yeah, let me go, go ahead and write the name. That's right. Ooh, twinged my back a little bit. I hurt my back doing Pilates a couple days ago, which is embarrassing. No jumping. Thank you, babe. Okay, so go yeah. ahead and... Put that down there too. No. Good job. Oh, yeah. All right. So way to go. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can put that over there. Thank you. Yeah. So Sally, big winner. Yes. Scout decided that Sally C is the next one. Please stop jumping in here. Thank you. All right. We'll be out in a minute. Okay. You got. You want to come in and say bye? I don't think they can see you over there. Why don't you come over here and say bye? They can't see you over there. You say bye. You bye. So. Yes. Good job. All right. I'll head out. out. We'll be out in a minute, okay? Yeah, come on, see. That's a great idea. Come on over. You can say bye to the people. So I'll click the number bye. two. Camera. Look there. There you, go. there you go. Awesome. We'll be out in a minute, okay? okay? All right. Well done, ladies. Good job. You guys did great. She's pouting about something. What is she pouting about, I wonder? Because Addison picked the name for the last box. Oh, that's well, you know, out. you took too long. Yeah, Absolutely. That's, that's she ran out here. Yeah, seriously, congratulations to everybody that won, like, for sure. I wish I could give a box out for everybody, but, you know, that's a lot. It's 10,000 people, <laughs> which is a lot. And thank you guys, like, for being part of all of this. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys had some fun with all this today, and you'll forgive the rather scattered way that we did this, but... New I... snuck up on us today and we didn't really have time to do a whole lot of thought process and really our brains are wrapped around this very strange week which we will tell you guys more about soon for sure and yeah as it is we were here we spilled tea we spilled some tea literally we gave things away. the counter is so messy <laughs> i have to clean now <laughs> but yeah, I, I appreciate you guys being here for sure. Uh, come back tomorrow. We're going to do the labeling video. I do have to go. I'm looking off to the side over there because I've got my notes and my stuff over there. <laughs> I have to go me. make the labeling video <laughs> so I can get that out for tomorrow. So uh, thank you guys for joining us for another round of 365 Days of Soap live. And I will see you guys all again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh my goodness, and the streams, and the streams, and the things, and we have to go back to work. Work. <laughs>